The Untitled Goose Mob just dropped on Friday Night Funkin', and I will be honest, I never actually expected to see this game be modded into Friday Night Funkin'. For those of you that don't know, Untitled Goose is a real game, even though it sounds ridiculous. It was released back in 2019, and it was categorized as like a puzzle stealth video game. As you can tell by the Friday Night Funkin' mod, the player actually got to play as a goose that was just a absolute menace to this little English village that it lived in. And the whole point of the game is to just go around and take items or objects from different people and make their lives a living hell. The Friday Night Funkin' mod actually reflects one of those objectives where you literally have to take a hat from one of the villagers and we see that here in Friday Night Funkin'. The goose actually takes boyfriend's hat and starts running away and this is pretty much exactly what you used to do in the actual game itself. Now while a lot of you might not think that this game did very well when it came out, in the first two weeks it actually sold 100,000 copies, which is ridiculous when you actually look at the gameplay. I had no idea that it would pop off the way it did. Now a fun fact, and a fact that I think a lot of you will find surprising, is that the Untitled Goose game actually sold better than The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which is a big deal because Zelda games are huge for Nintendo. And another fun fact, by the end of 2019, this game has sold over a million copies across multiple platforms. And another fact that I found very wholesome about the developers of this game, which go by House House, is that they were a part of a nationwide campaign called Pay the Rent. And this was basically where they provided reparations for their indigenous people of Australia, who basically had their land taken by the British. House House donated 1% of their total income to the indigenous groups because their studio actually occupied space on that stolen land. While some people did feel like they didn't do enough, it was nice to see that they actually did something and provided some value back to the people of that area. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video where I talk about the New Times Basement mod, or check out this video where I talk about the Mistful Crimson Morning mod. Thanks for watching, this is Zorce of course, peace peace.